always imagined myself making great plays, but you never think about being MVP. Investigate 9-11. Uh, 9-11 was perpetrated by people within our own government. And just those 15 seconds have now become a sensation all over the news as they attack him, but as it causes the, the, the debate, and I'm going to hold him a little bit in the next hour after Governor Jesse Ventura leaves us, but uh, Jesse, uh, he's a listener, he's been able to get in, and we're going to uh, talk to Matthew Mills. What do you want to say to him, Governor? Well, Matthew, I want to say, you know, unbelievable the courage you show, and, I, I, and good for you to speak your mind. Uh, I would ask this question of what are they going to do to you or what are they doing to you for what you just did? Uh, am I on the air right now? Yes, you are. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. Uh, I don't think they're going to do much to me. I only got like a summons, a ticket. and I, uh, I don't even think it's uh, for that much money. Uh, they grilled me for a while. They were really, really intense. Uh, it was pretty much everything but the spotlight in my face. They were real. Uh, the one guy actually uh, said he wanted to uh, punch me in my jaw. Uh, so they were kind of mad, but I don't think I'm going to get in any <laughs> big trouble. Well, that's, that's amazing. Uh, what's been the repercussion for you? Are there, are there media that want to talk to you, or are they marginalizing you and not talking to you? Well, I got, con I got a bunch of calls yesterday, but I was in the holding cell in the stadium until pretty late at night, until pretty much the stadium closed. And I had a bunch of texts and calls, and then one guy I finally answered. It was from NJ.com, and uh, he just asked me some questions, and I was candid with him. And, That's right. You got uh, interviewed by the uh, New Jersey uh, local paper there uh, in the main city. Listen, can you hold, and, and after the governor leaves us, I'm going to come back and debrief you on air? Sure. All uh, right. Thank you for calling in. Our listener taking action. He's done work with We Are Change in the past as well, and he is one hell of an info warrior. I tell you, it's great to be part of this family of Freedom Fighters, Jesse. Oh, I'll tell you, this kid had courage and guts to do what he did, and uh, that's remarkable because just those simple words he said, and now the media jumping all over it is bringing it back into the forefront, back to the attention of the, the people of, throughout the world, which is a good thing because we've never gotten resolution on 9-11 just as we've never gotten it on the murder of John Kennedy. And that's enough of this crap. We deserve to know the truth. Oh, by the way, uh, I went to Dallas. The Dallas police uh, di didn't follow the orders of the mayor to have anybody handing out flyers anywhere downtown to be arrested. So they hired, Homeland Security hired sheriff's deputies to uh, basically punch us and attack us on video. I don't know if you heard about that, but it was, it, was, it was online and made national news. This was after the memorial and everybody was gone. The police opened up the barricade, said you can go in now to downtown. And the, and the feds had sheriff's deputies attack us. Well, and, and all of that because we don't believe the official story? Well, it's just like they censored your TV show. It's just like yeah. they're I, afraid of the information, which shows we have power. I'll tell you, it's amazing that they still try to perpetrate this myth on killing of Kennedy. I mean, anybody today who believes Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone is completely naive. Uh, there's so much fact out there. There's so much you can learn about it to know that it's not true. And I and I always tell people it's the most important thing because that's what's led to where we're at today. Had Jack Kennedy lived, I believe we would be living in a different world than what we live in today. Uh, they killed everybody that stood for peace because obviously there are people in the world that do not want peace. They want war. And it's that simple, Alex. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a 
free press, all the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. See the full interview on our sister channel, The Info Warrior, or become a member of PrisonPlanet.tv and help us take the message of freedom and liberty to the next level. Thanks for watching. Spread this information far and wide, and please subscribe to The Alex Jones Channel.